So my cat just walked on my painting. So just kind of creating this um, water lily uh, painting. I'll have to uh, I'm using, I'm actually using the paints that kind of spilled over. So if I put some blue on and then put some green on top of it, it kind of gives it that teal green. And I'm just I'm just kind of swishing my paintbrush, not really going um, like when I first was doing this. So it kind of gives it that impressionistic feel that um, Monet was after in his paintings. brush I'm trying to I'm doing this by memory I don't have the picture in front of me um, so it's not going to look exactly like he is because I'm doing it by memory here. And then we can add some yellows in there, some highlights, kind of like what we have over in here. Tiger is cute. <laughs> Hi, Tiger. Tiger. Hi. Hi. So just be careful not to blend it too much just kind of dab it you know like that so these are just like little co different colors in the garden and it's like a pond with water well of course if it is uh has duh we all know that ponds have water in them right okay so that was that i guess it's okay definitely not like monet that's for sure definitely not like that Okay, and then I want to clean my brush again. And then take some white and then just sort of kind of, my brush is kind of dry. So 
I didn't put a lot of white in there. I'm just sort of like, just kind of doing this to make it feel like water, water, you know? Just a teensy weensy bit. I kind of take my, just wipe off a little bit on, either on the back of your hand. Just don't paint yourself to death, okay? But just kind of doing this. I know there's some of that action going on in his paintings. Mm. You kind of do that. And then I want to get a couple of details. Yeah. I'm a messy painter, you guys. Um, doesn't mean I want you to paint your fingernails or paint your hands, but um, I need like a um, dark, a dark, kind of like that like a dark teal so that when I do some of these little lily pads the bottom parts will be a little bit darker so these are just some individual ones that kind of are out in the water Like that, right? So, those are the lily pads. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, I think I'll do a couple more up towards the top. So, the nice thing about Impressionism is that you're not having to worry too much about detail and exactness because it just, it's just the, um, impression that you're getting that those are like lily pads so um that's kind of nice about impressionism okay and then we'll use some of the lighter green but i need to tone that down with some yellow in there just because it was just too much too much of the um, bright green and i'll put that on the top so those are like you know the highlight the one that you know the top of the sunlight shining down on the little lily pads. Mm -hmm. And then the fun part, once you get that part done, then you can venture out and use like some pinks and purples and other colors to kind of get your little flowers that are on your lily pads. Just kind of and put some little hints of you know pinks and purples just some little hints of it here and there and put some over here not you know not a lot don't want to overdo it and you can pretty much use any color you want if you want to use pink um, you can even use magenta magenta is a pretty color too kind of tone down the pink maybe a little bit so and of course, just kind of put some little pockets of flowers. So again, there's just not a lot of detail with just, just little pockets of color here and there. Again, don't overdo it on the, if you blend in too much, you're gonna lose your colors. Something like that, how's that? And then, like I said, if you want to use other colors like orange or yellow, you can do that too. But anyway, so this is my Monet painting, which is okay. It's, it'll have to do. 